lager. Brewed for those who know, it's what's behind a label that matters. Monty Williams has coached the Phoenix Suns to their first division title since 2007. 51 wins in a 72-game shortened season, the second seed in the Western Conference. The Suns, by the way, were one of only four teams to rank in the top ten in both offense and defense this season. Now, we're looking at a list of coaches to be voted the National Basketball Coaches Association Coach of the Year, of course, voted on by the coaches in the association. Monty Williams joins that list this season and coach Williams joins us now thank you so much for being here coach you were voted coach of the year by your colleagues by your competitors what does that award mean to you considering it was chosen by them it was um, humbling and embarrassing at the same time um, to have your peers uh, recognize you that way is a huge recognition for me, um, but embarrassing in that, you know, all of the coaches in the league coach good stuff, teach good stuff, and sacrifice a ton for every organization um, in, in our league. And so from that standpoint, um, I was humbled to be the guy to receive that kind of recognition. And it's a reflection of um, a lot of work um, led by Robert Sarver and James Jones and and our players and staff that that diligently work every single day. So I felt so blessed and fortunate to be in that position, but a number of coaches across the league um, deserve a pat on the back because we all teach good stuff. We try as best we can every single day. And um, I'm just grateful for the honor. You know, Monty, Steve Smith here. I want to say congratulations. Um, it's just great to watch your career compete against you watch you become assistant coach, head coach, and to this day to be an honor is well-deserved. But I want to ask you now, as a number two seed, what goes through your mind in this different scenario, a play-in game? You got to prep for two teams, not knowing <laughs> which one that you will play. That's a totally different scenario that me and old Sam up here is used to. Yeah, it has been different, but... Um... As you go throughout the season, you have assistant coaches that have their own teams. And so those guys have been focused on their particular team. And, and thankfully, we didn't have one coach that had both teams. So we're doing the best we can to prepare for both. Um, obviously, it's, it's a time for you to focus on yourself and, and strengthen the things that are uh, weak in your program and focus also on things you do well to try to you know, make those things even better. Um, it's been a good time for us to rest. We had a really good practice today, but it is it is different to get in this position and have to wait three days to know who you're going to play. At the same time, I see the league's perspective on the buzz of the play-in tournament, and, and it, it really gets the fans involved, which is a good thing. But for us, it's not bad. We're grateful to be in this position. We've earned it, but it is a bit different than what we've dealt with. Mine is Sam Mitchell here. Congratulations again, my friend. I want to ask Thank you this. To me, this road work for this success of this season started in the bubble last year. Talk mm -hmm. about Devin Booker, the way he led this team in the bubble. And then you guys did something this summer when you added Chris Paul to take this yeah. team to a whole nother level. Talk about those two players, because sometimes I feel like Devin Booker and what you guys accomplished in the bubble to set the table for this year somehow gets overlooked. Yeah, I think the bubble for us was, um, it's hard to quantify what that meant to our program. Um, the camaraderie, the confidence, um, we, we felt like it was basketball nirvana for us. You know, we were practicing during the day, and then at night we had 9, 10, 11, 12 guys going back at night because we could just focus on basketball. And Devin took a step in his leadership uh, for sure. Um, we, we had the focus of getting better every single day, but we knew every game uh, in that environment was a game that we had to win. And he, he played at the highest level. I think he and Dame were the best two players there. Uh, to see him carry the team, to see him grow in leadership was huge for us. And then I think that made us a bit more attractive to the league. Um, I think people want to play with Devin. And I think that was inviting to Chris and, and having Chris and Book 
um, in our backcourt, in our program has been huge for us. And Chris brings an element of leadership, of diligence, sacrifice, uh, the things that he teaches our young guys every single day is less work for me. And this being the second time that he and I have been able to team up, I think we both have learned uh, over the course of time to, at least for me, to value uh, what he brings to the table. And I've said this before, I try my best not to get in his way and try to enhance and augment <laughs> what he does. And I think our partnership um, is even better this time around. Monty, I want to ask you defensively, Chris Paul, Jay Crowder, some of those old guys, you know, they know how to defend. Then you have these young guys, which I'm so impressed. They know how to defend individually. But way, the way they bought in watching your team, they look like vets to Mikael Bridges, to Cameron Johnson, DeAndre Ayton on a defensive standpoint. Can you talk about them as they have, how they have bought in on the defensive side of the ball? Sure. I mean, I think a lot of credit goes to Willie Green. He's been huge uh, leading our defense um, every single day, breaking down the defense, being tough on guys about the weaknesses in our defense. And I think the continuity um, of having Mikhail and Cam and JC and DA has been the anchor in our defense this year. And then you add Jay and Chris. Um, that allows for us to take a jump defensively. So I, I think the continuity helped our young guys. We tried to simplify it as best we could. Willie Green did a great job with that. But I think having guys, you know, in the regular season then going to the bubble, which we felt like was a second season for us. So for DA and, and, and all the guys that you named that were young guys, we feel like this is their third season in our program. And I think that's one of the reasons why we've been able to take a jump along with adding some of the vets that we've added to our program. Coach, thank you again for joining us. Congratulations. We're looking forward to watching you in the playoffs. Enjoy the time before the storm, money. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, guys. I really appreciate it. Thank you for having me on. Now, when we come back, we're now minutes away from tip-off between the Grizzlies and Spurs as the Western Conference play-in tournament is set to start with LeBron and the Lakers taking on the Warriors after that.